Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the FC Cincinnati My Player Career Mode. We're going to be jumping into a game here, I think, against uh, Real Salt Lake, and I forgot who the other opponent was, and I just forgot. Anyways, we are currently, I think, like 10th in the table no not that low like seventh in the table or something like that so we definitely want to try to start getting some games back here um we are probably playing our best lineup that we've played all season again i think that glitch is finally over so we don't have to worry about that in career modes anymore hence why this career mode's back but let's go ahead and hop into this game and see what we can do against a very tough real salt lake squad all right so again we are playing against real salt lake who just beat portland in the playoffs um which was a bit surprising because it was super late on in the game but uh it was it was a good game to say the least this uh this playoff season has been really really good there hasn't been a bad game so far no blowouts anything like that kind of what you would expect from um from the mls playoffs it's always a pretty tight race uh but the the one and done games are super super interesting this year i still like the home and away leg just because i think it's more fair but let me know in the comment section down below how are you guys liking the mls playoffs so far again when this video is being recorded the Red Bulls game hasn't happened yet, and the um, LA Galaxy game hasn't happened yet. But, well, there goes our 100% passing from last game. Oh, got the tackle, though. Let's go, baby. And the cross is very much on. Oh, what a shot. Let's go, baby. I did not think we were going to get anything out of that. I'm not going to lie to you. But Yubola ends up grabbing the goal, and we are 1-0 up pretty early on against Real Salt Lake. So hopefully we can keep this going and um, see what we can do here. Fuck. All right, end of the first half. Still 1-0 up. They've had a lot of the ball, though, just not really making opportunities for themselves. That ball was really bad to Ledesma, my bad. Our passing has been rough. I think we've missed two or three passes this game. Uh, we could definitely be playing a lot, a lot better. So hopefully here in the second half we can we can do that. We can hopefully grab another goal, make this 2-0. Um, I feel a lot more confident about the game that we are in. Um, 45 minutes played, 7.3 rating, not too bad. Again, we've missed a couple passes, but other than that, we've had a pretty decent game, as the whole team has. Uh, we just need to continue doing that, hopefully get a little bit more possession this half as well, um, and really get a good opportunity to um, do well here. Oh, nice pass. Out to Greg. Oh, not the corner. This looks promising. Oh, that shot was so bad. It was so scuffed. I'm going to go ahead and request my sub out of this game. I'm getting pretty tired, and I don't want to negatively impact the squad. Um, we're getting into some pretty decent chances to actually get a goal, but... Oh, no, you're not going to... Oh, that was almost so nice. An attack full of promise. He must Oof, I want uh, I want my shooting up so bad. Lama in full control of the ball here. Options in the center. Can they slot at home? Ooh, nice try, bud. That's going to be a corner. That is the end of our game. We've had a very, very good game. Breton's going to come in for us. Hopefully, they're going to get the win. 75th minute is when we are exiting. We had, again, a pretty decent game. Could have been better. But we will take that 100, 100 times out of 100. And uh, let's just make sure we actually won that game. I believe we did. But we do have the U.S. Open Cup as well. We did get the win, 1-0, so then we have Colorado Rapids, and then in the next episode, New York Red Bulls will be the beginning. Um, we're getting into a pretty pretty heavy part of the season, obviously, so we do want to make sure that we keep continuing on with the season that we are having. Um, 
So we're gonna have Colorado Rapids in this game, US Open Cup. We wanna try our absolute best to win this trophy because we don't know if we're gonna actually be able to win the MLS playoffs um, unless some you know changes come in in the second half of the season. Um, but actually, no. Is there even a window? Yeah, there is. I think there's a window in August. Uh, let's make sure there's actually a window because we possibly could end up moving as well. I do kind of want to try to stay out in the whole season. If you guys do want me to leave FC Cincinnati in our first window, let me know in the comment section down below because I actually do enjoy playing here, um, but obviously it's not gonna be the best team in the league. We're not always gonna win. Um, I'm not always gonna be scoring goals, getting assists, doing this, that, and the other because the, the structure of the team's not the best, but um, obviously, if we can make a run in the playoffs, if we can win the US Open Cup, it could end up being a very, very good time here at Cincinnati. So let me know in the comment section down below, do you guys want me to play there? Or continue playing here, rather. And for this US Open Cup game, the only change I really see is the left back and right back. Uh, Greg Garza is not in the team. I believe Matt Rich or uh, not Matt Ritchie. Um, I forgot his first name. Richie's the one in goal this game. I don't think he was in goal last game. Uh, but let's go ahead and hop into this game and see what we can do against this Colorado team. On the players as we speak. My name's Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary on this game is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. And a potentially exciting occasion on the cup front. I can't wait for this, Lee. Looks promising this. Oh, that ball, Adi. Come on now. And this is you know that wasn't the right pass. Begin the game today. Oh god, how did I miss that pat that ball so bad? I didn't even intro this game, did I? I was looking at my fantasy lineup. It's Sunday, sorry guys. Striker with the number 10 just behind him. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. And this is a formation most people in the game are very familiar with nowadays. Yeah, most coaches are adopting this formation. What it does give you is two holding players in front of the back four to protect them. But it's also... I, I saw that pass going very differently. That central striker. He's going forward well here. Oh, ref, whatever. Well, challenge carried with it. Quite the element of risk. Now, what's the referee going to do next? The challenge... Excuse me? Did he go in with both legs? <clears throat> um, I mean, don't get me wrong. He straight missed the ball. Like, that, that, that definitely happened. But a red card? I mean, he was trying to get the ball. Came in, excessive force. Red a red card? Well, he's dropped all his in the ninth in minute? Very, very Let me know in the comment section down below. Do you guys think that should have been a red card? Or was that completely unnecessary? Because I think it was completely clean. unnecessary. Honestly. Away Adi. But Desma, come on, man. I've not been enjoying playing with Ledesma. I'm going to be honest with you. It looks promising. What a save. Thank you, Richie. Thank you. Not much defensive cover there on the flank. They could nudge in front. Oh. Well, how about that? What a tackle. I thought we had it. I should have passed it. I did not see that tackle. I thought I was either getting a pen or getting a goal. I did not think he was going to make that tackle that well. Ooh. Ooh, what a shot. Tim Howard with the save, though. Look at this shot. Sliced. Ooh, I think I was actually going to miss that anyways. I'm going to be honest with you. And now the delivery... Well, a sloppy clearance. What can the opposition do with this? Camera. You've got to keep the ball a bit What was that pass? And the referee spotted Who was that intended to? Because it wasn't to where I wanted it to go. Pass. Can he take the chance? And a goal it is. The opener. One nil down. Because I made the dumbest pass of all time, even though that's not where I wanted it to go at all. Wild. Wild. We're a man down at left back, so we have three in the back. 
And you can feel it, because I literally feel like I'm lost in the midfield right now. <clears throat> that was a nice ball. I'm getting held up by defenders. Oh my god, I'm getting held up by everybody. Let's go, Adi. Yes, man. Let's go. 1-1. One, one. Right after they scored, we managed to grab another goal. Or a goal. 1-1 one, one is the scoreline. Adi's a madman. Oof. Clean. What a shot from Adi. That was beautiful. Adi knew exactly what I wanted to do with that ball. Love to see it. Oh, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. Anderson. Rubio. Playing with purpose and control. Crossing opportunity. Not really the ideal clearance. Oh, come on. What is that, three goals in like well, two minutes, it feels like? It's all about the when you're There's not going to be any commentary in that, but I'm going to leave that all uncut right so you guys can see the disaster that just happened on both sides of the field. Really? I asked for it in the air, like a kick. Well, possession seeded. Inside the final two minutes of this contest. No. Magnificently and intercepted. Oh, thank God. Well, they're attacking, but time is the great enemy. Adi. <gasps> Late drama here. Level once more. Incredible scenes. I'm so Here's mad I just called myself out of this game now. <laughs> But at the same time, there's no way I'm playing extra time. What a shot from Adi. Oh my god. Look at this shot. Oh. Oh. Such a good shot from Adi, man. That was incredible. 2-2. 90th minute goal. Let's go, baby. Aaron Maddox just came into the game as well. All right, we simulated the game. Let's see what the result was of this match. Our ball control went up. That was our 10th match we've completed now. Um, our rating should have gone up, but we'll check the calendar first. Calendar. Oh, it hurts the heart. It really does. View fixture. Three to two. We almost had it, man. We almost had it. Anyways, in the next episode, we are going to be playing against New York Red Bulls and Philadelphia Union, both in the same week. So that's going to be a bit tough for me to try to keep my stamina up. Um, Gutman got suspended. We already knew that. Other than that, that is going to be the end of this episode. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next one, I'll see you guys later. Peace.